Insert traditional Irish greeting here, beautiful people. I'm Matt Lieberman. Now, St. Patrick's Day is upon us, and of course that means festive foods, festive drinks, a lot of drinks, at least if we're talking about stereotypes, but gosh darn it, it's 2017. How about we move past them, huh? I've crafted a beautiful three-course meal for my wonderful friends, and I hope you would join me, so let's get into it. So today's cocktail I have dubbed the LA Irish. It's basically instead of an Irish coffee, which is normally hot coffee with Irish whiskey, we're doing like an iced latte, like an Irish iced latte. So we've got Irish whiskey with coffee and almond creamer ice cubes. Then we've got a shamrock shank, which is a braised lamb shank with garlic, onion, carrot, tomato, and a homemade mint sauce, which I have right here. And then finally, we're gonna wrap things up with a homemade Lucky Charms cereal milk ice cream. To make our ice cream, we gotta add a little dry ice. I'm here, I'm repping my team. I don't care about sports, but I'm from LA, so it's my team. Seriously though, I don't know who's on the Rams or what they do or where they're from. They're just, they're ours now. So dry ice is especially dangerous to touch with your bare hands. I'm just gonna oh so carefully, carefully, carefully slide it right here onto our towel. And we're gonna try to flip that back up. So to increase uh, our chill and our conductivity, we are gonna pour a metric boatload of vodka onto our towel. I'm using vodka because alcohol does not freeze, but it does reach very cold temperatures. So we're allowing the uh, cold of the dry ice, which is pure carbon dioxide, to flow through the towel and into the cold stone. Got a cast iron skillet here, and it's starting to get nice and cold now. So we're gonna open up our Lucky Charms cereal, the most Irish of cereals. It's got the pots of gold and the rainbows. We're gonna pour onto our cast iron, and we're gonna crush it, crush it just a little bit. As you may be able to tell, I've never done this before, but I am already a master. So now we're gonna take our cereal milk ice cream base, and we are going to pour it onto our cold stone. So this is our strained cereal milk, uh, some heavy whipping cream and sweetened condensed milk whipped together and then put in a fridge all night. Ice cream from nothing, ha ha. We're just gonna pop it right in there. Let's make more. Beautiful. To start our meal today, I'm gonna serve you a special cocktail of my own creation. And we're gonna open with a cocktail I've dubbed the LA Irish. It is an Irish iced latte. Ooh! So I just put co hot coffee in these silicone molds and froze them. And I did the same thing with uh, vanilla almond milk creamer from Silk. Today I mixed my coffee with Chobani Greek yogurt. What the fuck? That's a mistake. Okay. Cheers. Cheers to friends. Cheers. Uh, Irish cheers. Irish cheers. To Slange. potatoes. Slange? Slange? Mm. Slange Knolls? Slange Knolls, is there? Slange Knolls. Uh, Slange Knolls. It's really, really good. Good, that. this I'm is glad. very good. Wow, even though there's a lot of, even though there's a lot of alcohol in there. There's that's a lot of alcohol in it, but good. Really yeah. good. I would say Creamy. just maybe a tiny bit more coffee. Well, I mean, it has to melt. Add like seven more. Mm. Okay, cool. Let's cut to a clip. <laughs> Whoa, <laughs> this is great. Yeah, thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Cheers. One more time. Cheers. Yeah. Cheers. Nice. Cheers. 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 Oh, cheers. Oh, cheers. one for me, one for cheers. you. Okay, cheers. cheers. And down the hatch. And, and cheers. Uh, can we chug a log? Yeah. Okay, uh, cheers. No, we're not going to chug it. All right. And down the hatch. All right. And up. Oh. <laughs> wow. How many shamrocks out of five? Ooh, I'm gonna give it a five out of five shamrock. Mm. Yeah, definitely five out of five shamrocks. This is the kind of thing I wanna drink at a party in a library. Cool. Ooh, library I wanna go to a party. library party. How many shamrocks out of five? I would give it four out of five. Um, it's not my favorite coffee drink I've ever had, but in the scheme of things, this is delicious, and it's delicious because I don't like bitter coffee. I give it five out of five. Yeah. Thank you. I really like it. I would not be surprised if this was served in a professional setting. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, Someone should we try to steal it? Should we? 
Chug, chug. Cheers. All right, here we go. Cheers. Oh. Yeah, I didn't think we were actually going to. Oh, my fucking waist. Guys, now that I got you all liquored up, how about we try some I delicious lamb? No, nope. no, nope. we're just talking about dinner. Please don't. Not even another button. Um, so let's eat the lamb, huh? Yeah, lamb. Close your shirt. Whitney, close your shirt. <laughs> okay, so these are my world Ooh. famous, because I just decided that they were, shamrock shanks. These are homemade braised lamb shanks with homemade mint sauce. And it's for sure lamb, not mm -hmm. cow heart. Not cow heart, this is 100% good lamb from a kosher butcher. I uh, cooked them in a pot with a little olive oil, salt, and pepper, and then I braised them for two and a half <gasps> hours last night, and I fashioned a homemade mint sauce. That's the shamrock part. Pretty good. Thank you. Whoa. Mm. This is fantastic. This is my Thank new you. favorite food, Matt. Really? Matt, you were my mm, first mm, and mm, my best. Mm, 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 what does that, mm, what does that mean? That means mm. you gotta get married. Okay, well. I appreciate the sentiment. This is absolutely your biggest hit. This is insane, dude. So this is I the highest you, point man. of my life? You, I honestly want to kill you right now so you never have to experience loss of never doing something as good as this. Yeah, no kidding. So I've decided to snap your neck live on camera. Okay. All right, down the hatch. I don't know what braising means, but it sounds violent. What it, is it? It's a slow simmer in a broth or uh, like a just a pot of liquid. Matt, Might will you braise me? I feel like that would be a waste of a friend <laughs> because you know you would be dead. I please braise us, Matt. Please. please. I'm not gonna braise you guys. Braise me. No. Braise, Listen, braise me. And I'm not gonna braise you jelly. like I should. I'm gonna praise you like <laughs> I could, which is you guys are great friends and thank you for eating my food. Mm. Now. Shamrock shanks, how many shamrocks out of five as you continue to demolish these bones? Can I get more than five? You can. Five, 20 shamrocks out of four leaf clovers. I, I don't, I apologize to whatever editor had to invent that graphic. I rate it. Best lamb shanks I've ever had out of five. That's great. How many shamrocks out of five would you give it? Five. Thank you, Ava. Subtick. Five. Thank you. And I don't usually like lamb. <laughs> so now that you got your bellies full of whiskey mm. and lamb, it's time to cap off our meal with some homemade more? Lucky Charms cereal milk ice cream. I'm not done with this one yet. I know. Okay, well, we don't have to all the time. You know what goes good with meat though? Ice cream. <laughs> yes, meat and ice oh. cream. Let's get to it. So, Yay. so this is homemade <gasps> Lucky Charms Whoa. cereal milk ice cream. So Holy dig shit. right in because it gets real melty. So uh, it tastes like actual cereal milk uh, because I toasted Lucky Charms cereal in the oven and then Bro. soaked it in milk, in whole milk, and then combined that with sweetened condensed milk and heavy cream. So good. Thank you. Originated oh, in wow. Momofuku in New York, mm -hmm. just so y'all know, but this is fucking delicious. So now. this is an adaptation of the Momofuku recipe. What does Denise give you that I can't? Everything. Mm. Mm. Love, support. I'll, I'll love you and I'll support you so hard. I'll be there, I'll be like, I believe in you. How do you feel about guinea pigs? They're all right. See, that's gonna be a big problem. Guys, this is a good idea. I know it's probably like, ew. They're super weird that the Lucky Charms yeah. gonna be too crunchy. And they're not, and they're not even that they're soggy. Just like they're just like please you. This is just like it's I was, so good. It's like I'm a little baby I kid. I feel like again. a fucking kid. You ever, so you ever okay. eat something and you're like, I wish you wouldn't end. Yeah, mm -hmm. that's this. Buzz. That makes me real. Ha <laughs> <laughs> so how many shamrocks out of five? I would give it four and a half. Wish she had soaked the cereal milk a little bit longer. To get more of the flavor? Yeah, yeah. Okay. But uh, other than that, it's still a very, very tasty dessert. Cool. Gonna finish it. Thank you. And you, Philip? One of these days I'm going to propose. Well, I appreciate that. When that day comes, we will, we will handle it. So how would you rate this? How many shamrocks out of five? 4.5 shamrocks out of 4.5. Steven's a hater. That's still a perfect score. I don't understand. I mean, technically. I'm confused, though. So. Ava? Oh, it's five. I mean, it, I would love to give it more. This is so fucking good. Thank you so much for watching. Watch it. At what, at what point did you eat that? Well, I was paying full attention. Cut to a clip. Ava? 
Oh, it's five. So I want to thank you both for eating my delicious food today. I'm allowed to call it delicious because mm. they rated it so. It's very good. Thanks, yeah. Matt. Thank you again. You're I love the Matt cooking days. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. Let me know down in the comments below what you would like to see next. What else would you like to see me cook? Uh, are you interested in trying any of these things? Are you interested in making any of these things? Let us know. Thank you all so much. Big thanks to Whitney, Philip, Suptic, and Ava, uh, and to all of you for watching. See you next time. Salange. Bye -bye. Solange. Solange. Solange knows. Solange knows to us all. Lieberman. Uh, so I think what I'm going to be doing here is I've got a nice uh, vanilla frosting dollop. I'm going to throw on a nice chunk of pork. And I may garnish with a little crushed oysters, chili peppers, honey, cherries, pomegranates. These types of fruits and flavors offer a very special kick to your special place.